Sega. As you can see, all eight bridges to Jefferson Island have been cut. There is no traffic getting on or off the island. We are in hour 15 of the communications blackout with Jefferson Island, leaving the residents there effectively cut off from the outside world. Yes, they're demanding that we not approach the city, and we've been told anyone who does will be met with force. But look, let me make this perfectly clear. We have no intention of giving in to any such demands. No! No! Oh, I can't! My fellow citizens, first, I assure you that all necessary measures are being taken. I have personally authorized a special team of Marines into the field. They'll be working closely with our intelligence agencies to bring this matter to a swift and peaceful conclusion. always. Impressive. Most impressive. Your skills are sure to please my client. Well, anyone else here feel they deserve a sponsor? Apparently not. Congratulations, contestant. My client will be delighted. Hey, I could use a sponsor. Who's there? Show yourself!
There is a signing bonus, right? Of course. But I wouldn't spend your bonus just yet. He's already killed two dozen bigger than yourself. Bigger don't mean better. <laughs> Apparently not. Consider yourself sponsored. Signing bonus is 10,000. Survive and you'll be paid in full. While you're alive and in the good graces of Death Watch control, I'll supply you with such weaponry as you require. Sounds like we got a deal. You can call me 13, as I represent sponsor number 13. And your name? For contract purposes, of course. Jack. Just Jack. Very well, Just Jack. Shall we begin? You see the communicator there. I want you to put it in your ear. With that, we'll be able to continue our little talks. I'll be using it to keep you abreast of critical developments as the game progresses, so don't take it out. Let the games begin. Score Sport fans, it's a beautiful evening on Jefferson Island, just perfect weather for our unwilling contestants to compete in the Varigan City Death Watch. My name is Howard Buckshot Holmes, and along with my co-commentator, Chris Creeley, I'll be giving you a slay-by-slay slay account of tonight's bloodbath. With access to the more than 10,000 cameras in this city, you can be sure not to miss a single I've survived more than my share of these crazy contests, and I can tell you that the audience is going to see more dust blood in the seven hairs than a troop of Girl Scouts camping in an unexploded mine. We've got some savage controls, amazing arenas, and a fuckload of surprises for you. So sharpen your knives, place your bets, and get ready to join So much fun! Just makes me happy. 
baby. It's the little things in life. Like a little girl in a man costume. If the shoe fits. What's that guy's name? How should I know? 
Well, you call them buddy. Fuck you. How much for you, don't have any friends? Once they start to stumble like that, you can do any fucked up thing you want to them. Same principle as Rufy. Jack taking out with trouble. <laughs> some pain. Oh, my God. 
just gotta check this when I wreck it. Think before you get it away, ain't no exception. Thank you for that, motherfucker.
like Jack Fox is about to give him some new killing tools.
yo, what we got right here is guaranteed pure satisfaction for that ass. A deep whistle exclusive, the world's fastest express train, A to the motherfucking K.A., the Rocket Reba.
train that just went through his brain at 90 miles an hour? Mm -hmm. and players, the Black Baron is here to learn y'all a little something something in the methods of mayhem. All you got to do to turn some motherfucker out is toss his punk ass in front of the train and watch it get reamed at 120 miles per hour, which is incidentally only about as half as fast as I do my reaming. Ain't that right, baby? Yeah, go on, get behind daddy, show me. Stop now! why they call him Little Eddie when he's so fucking big. I think it's supposed to be ironic. What? You know, the use of words to express something other than, and especially the opposite of, the literal meaning, usually a humorous or sardonic literary style or form. You got beat up in school a lot, didn't you? Yes.
Jack could still defile the bodies. What do you mean? You know, take trophies and shit. Check out my necklace of human ears. Check out my stream of projectile vomit. <laughs> Jack, are you there? Jack? Jack, where did you go? I had to take a piss. What, is no pissing in my contract? There are over 10,000 cameras in this city, Jack. Most of them put here by the government to deter criminals. Others by store owners and the like. Death Watch Control uses them to monitor the games. They also use them to score your points. And of course, we're watching too. Only... The cameras can't see every nook and cranny, I get it. So you want me to hold it unless you're there to catch every last drop? The only thing my client is concerned with is how game control sees you. This morning's contestant met an untimely death, which meant a considerable financial loss for us. We wouldn't want to lose you, too, just because game control deemed you suspicious. I thought I meant something to you, and now I find out it's just about the money. I feel so dirty. We just want you to enjoy the game. No, call it a sport. Of course, like polo. With chainsaws. Oh, now don't worry, Thirteen. I may be a rookie at your little sport, but I'm a fast learner. So let's get going, shall we? Wouldn't want to keep the audience waiting.
for the job. The right killing tool, you mean? I'm guessing everybody inside those buildings just got a lot better. and pain purveyors. The party don't get started till someone spikes the punch, am I right? Which is why I bring to you the motherfucking death press. So y'all bitches better hold on to your seatbelts cause somebody about to be a motherfucking pancake in this piece. You know what that title means? Love that challenge. I'm really embarrassed, John. That's pathetic. I blame our schools. It's me, baby, the one and only Black Baron, Bishop of Blood and Carnage. Today I'm bringing y'all a recipe for good times. Just toss some G's ass in the press when the time is right, you got a bloody Sunday. Just don't get tossed in the punch yourself, baby, you feel me? Hey, mama, look at you, yeah, yeah, hey, 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 oh, 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 hell no!
truly the root of all ass kickery. Oh shit! I had to the barrel on that bastard before I pumped him into the blade. Another life for Jack. I used an extra life once and came back as a roach. Sounds like you got the wheel of karma extra life. I actually enjoyed it. You know, a cockroach can live for a week without its head. Big deal. I went to eight years of You hear me? I am proud to introduce the most marvelous of ballroom games, Man Dogs. Three years into making this baby is almost as impressive as yours truly. Oh boy, it's my favorite time of the day. Yeah. Time to huff some paint? Nope. Time to take a dump? Nah. Yeah. I give up. What time is it? Blood bath challenge time. Whatever. If you need me, I'll be taking a dump huffing paint. <laughs> And you know who yours truly is. The black motherfucking baron stops there. Now all you gotta do is swing a fat bat into some fat ass and launch that motherfucker at the board. We keep score just like we do in darts, so you just worry about hitting it and quitting it, you feel me? And speaking of hitting it, hey baby, what you doing? No, I don't, baby, I got my own bat. I don't need no bat. Hell yeah. Go, go.
Unraveled like two balls a yard. You know how fucking long two balls a yard is? Well, howdy, rookie. Is that legal for him to be running on the wall? I don't know. Is it illegal for you to walk around that thing? Death 
Overwatch fans, I hope you enjoy your road rage fast and furious, because Jack's about to race down the nastiest stretch of pavement in Farragon City. This straightaway was a bitch even before it was modified for the game, but now it's a veritable highway to hell, littered with hazards, busted bridges, and motorized motherfuckers who will frag you for a laugh. Well, it is kind of funny when the douchebags get fried. Indeed it is, Grace. Indeed it is. <laughs> Man, I wish I had 
probably smells like bead night at a fat camp. Look at that crap fly. Any one of those on the could become a deadly weapon. I'd like to be killed by a puppy up the ass. Jack, raise your hand. Oh, wait. He can't raise his hand, can he? Air today, gone tomorrow. Fucking weak. Looks like you're in. Good work. There is no other kind with me. But keeping 13 and the Death Watchers in the dark. You'll just have to stay out of the spotlight then. That won't be a problem, will it? <laughs> oh, Jack, we couldn't find any trace of airborne virus in the sample you sent. Still, I wouldn't go touching any corpses you find. It might be communicable via bodily fluids. No touching corpses. Wow, you're chock full of helpful hints. Jack, staying out of the spotlight usually involves not running towards gunfire? I know what I'm doing, Amala. Those shots just now were 22 caliber. 13 tells me run-of-the-mill contestants aren't allowed guns. Only a handful of the ranked players and the Death Watchers get them. But 22 caliber's too small for them. You think there's a civilian still alive? You think this is living? You've made it to Asian Town. Jack, you're doing quite well. And I'm pleased to report that your ratings are on the rise. Which makes your client happy, I take it. Very. And I dare say this is the perfect stage for you to take your game to the next level. What better backdrop than the exotic Far East? Is this guy for real? No, don't answer that. He'll hear you on the transmitter. Whoever designed this dump has obviously never been to Asia. This looks like a bad mashup between an amusement park and an ethnic stereotype. Hey, whatever makes the audience happy. Yes, you understand. You see, it's not just about the blood. It's about experiencing something beyond the drudgery of our daily lives. The excitement of the new, the undiscovered. Is this douchebag for real? Quiet. Stay back! I said stay back! A civilian alive? This is a surprise. You remember how many points a duck's worth? Nah, but those bastards in private practice are worth big bucks. Well shit, he's public. 
That's a city hospital ID. So, why do you get more for private docs? Cause those insurance sucking fat wallet bottom feeders take your money at... Who the fuck are you? Just a firm believer in public health care. Are smart pussies. They say discretion. 
solution to a thorny problem. Wow, the shit you say sometimes makes you want to smack A rose by any other name can still hold you up. Looks like Jack's sponsor's about to give him some new killing tools. Definitely. 
working. a Black Baron trade secret. Shit, I'ma give you a hint though, cause that's the kind of pimp I is. Take a bottle full of bub, shook up nice and tight, and pop that shit down a G's throat and take aim. Just be careful to aim quick, cause this bad boy's a three second man, you know what I'm saying? Hey, what's going on, baby? Oh, you wanna see who is on the money tonight? <laughs> all right, folks, she don't talk too much, but she about to take care of all of y'all. Oh, you talking about me? Come on now, baby, you know my ass is always- <laughs> Oh, him! No. Oh, him! No! Fuck! What's the deal here again? Jack needs to hit the sexy girl target with the cider to get bonus points. He can also kill an enemy with the bat, but there's no bonus for that. Just that good killing someone with a bad feeling. Well, at least he gets a refreshing beverage on his way to massive injury. So what's in those bottles anyway? Mad juice. And do I want to know what mad juice is? Probably not. Yeah. Well, at least he gets a refreshing beverage on his way to massive injury. So what's in those bottles anyway? Mad juice. And do I want to know what mad juice is? Probably not. Ah, tiny guy with mouthfuls of mad juice and hot chicks. Reminds me of my college years. Yeah. Uh, so we all wear masks to hide our true self. Your true self is a moron. And there ain't a mask big enough to hide it. Well, at least he gets a refreshing beverage on his way to massive injury. Is the left one a little bigger than the right one? I knew this chick once who had three nipples. Yes. So what's in those bottles anyway? Mad juice. And do I want to know what mad juice is? Probably not. 
Ah, time to dive with mouthfuls of mad juice and hot chicks. Reminds me of my college years. One minute! The amount of time your wife spent fucking you on your honeymoon. All I have to do is pull the trigger. That's all you have to do. So what's in those bottles anyway? Mad juice. And do I want to know what mad juice is? Probably not. Well, at least he gets a refreshing beverage on his way to massive injury. Show us on the doll where the man touched you. I've heard that one before. I bet you have. Yeah. Ah, tossy guys with mouthfuls of mad juice and hot chicks. Reminds me of my college years. 30 seconds. I'm gonna do it. You should. So what's in those bottles anyway? Mad juice. And do I want to know what mad juice yeah. is? Yeah. Probably not. Well, at least he gets a refreshing beverage on his way to massive injury. Ah, time to die with mouthfuls of mad juice and hot chips. Reminds me of my college years. Five seconds, right now we're living. You're living. Five seconds, this is it. Do it. Well, at least he gets a refreshing beverage on his way to massive injury. Game is over. Ow, oh, you... Fucker, you shot me! What'd you expect, fucker? Did you think I was gonna shoot myself? If by thing you mean a five minute fight that left me spinning teeth and pissing blood, yeah, then we had a thing. I'm going to enjoy every moment.
Why did you let him live, Jack? As those scumbags noted, a dead civilian isn't worth many points, but a live one is worth nothing. So you want me to kill that kid? I merely want to know why you did not kill him. Why? Do I need a reason not to kill someone? I'm in this game to kill other contestants, not go hunting after some half-dead civvy. Maybe you don't understand, Jack. This is a business. As long as you have a contract with us, you are obligated to follow the rules. Rules? <laughs> is there any rule here but kill or be killed? Look, if wasting a few doctors is gonna up my pay, I'm happy to do it. But don't you think your audience would rather see me paint the sidewalks red with someone my own size? Of course, you are an artist, Jack. Go out and make us happy. Make your fans happy. I aim to please. So, what's the deal here again? Same as always. Jack's gotta kill every sucker he sees so he can make enough bank to beat on the boss. Uh-huh. Then he can also find hidden shit on the side when he's got a little time to kill. Instead of having little enemies to kill, you mean. Exactly. Spear. 
I mean spear, you idiot. Here's a hot tip. Jack gets extra points for saving all the hookers. Remind me of a joke. What did the leper say to the hooker? What? Keep the tip. I thought you said it was a joke. This bastard. His name is Tengu, and he's full of sneaky ninja tricks. Yeah. This guy looks like trouble. I hope Jack hands him his nimble ninja ass. That just makes me happy. It's the little things in life. Mm -hmm. Ah, shit. Tonight we bring you a fireworks extravaganza. Guaranteed to go up in the skies with all the powder and power we got. All you pimps and players out there. I inform you, Chief.
Yes! The bloodbath challenge switch! Now we'll see some blood. Or a bath. If it's a chick, I'm down with that too. You know how when you're out there, it's like, I hope Jack can rescue those hookers. I have a date scheduled with a couple of them later at the local run and tug. You know, head injury is the leading cause of death in motorcycle accidents. You know, I think Jack's about to be that fantastic. At least beat that ninja's ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah! This is the kind of treat only the Bishop of Blood and Carnage, the Black Baron, stops him. To light up the night, all you got to do is toss a motherfucker into a tube. Then it's only a matter of time before that ass gets tapped and kabloom! Shit be flying, you think it's the 4th of July up in this motherfucker? God damn! Hey, come on, baby. No, you know I love you. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah, oh, hell no! Goes my cold. Round one. This should be fun. I'm gonna do it, you 
Big Boss Man is ready to tangle with Jack. Do you think Jack is ready? What's your mind? You were a former player. Zarega! 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 Do you know how many years this game has gone on? Thousands, Jack. Thousands. Excuse me? Not quite on this scale, of course, but just as vital. A contest between chosen gladiators. A grand fete of carnage. In every society, at all times, there has been war. Even at our most peaceful moments, we have never been truly free of the seeds of strife. As long as there is power, territory, ethnicity, belief, ideals, as long as there are people, there will be conflict. Our age is not different than any other. Come, Jack, how many countries do you know that are truly at peace? 
You know who this guy is, Jack? He's the one asshole. Get it? One asshole to rule them all? I didn't realize there was gonna be a pop quiz. What's your point? The first Death Watch games took place 2,000 years ago in Mesopotamia. The Fertile Crescent then. No, nothing but rocks and sand. War had been the way of life there for years. Weary of the bloodshed, the leaders from each camp chose champions to fight on their behalf. To the victor went the rule of law. That was the beginning. So they realized the price of power is blood, and they wanted to cut costs. Precisely. Thus began the games. At times the games are fought to decide the fate of a country. Other times it is merely to determine the outcome of a feud. But the goal remains the same. The settlement of conflict for the minimum price in blood. That is why the games exist. So, then what's this all about, huh? What fate does it decide? You telling me an entire city and everyone in it is the minimum price for this game? The world is controlled not by the masses, but by the hands of a few. It is an undeniable fact, and it has always been so. That all men are created equal is a myth. The people are nothing but weeds. They're overlords, gardeners. Only when the weeds are cut, may flowers bloom. From all the fertilizer you're spreading, I'm guessing you're a gardener. You're a talented man. It's good to know some things don't change. Welcome back, Jack. It's good to be home. comes Jack as he walks in amongst all those beautiful flowers. Nothing says I'm gonna rip your fucking head off like making an entrance to a bunch of flowers. And here comes the big boss! That waterfall is getting in the closest thing to a shower he's had in months! Your best shot, boy. Shogun is a trademark of the Tokyo Gym. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. Some guy paid me to say it. Why? This should be fun. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, I just saved your ass. How about pointing that thing someplace else, huh? Guns make me nervous. <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> thank you. You can thank me by getting up and coming over here. Don't worry. If I was gonna kill you, I'd do it right out here. Look, I'm not a contestant. But if you don't hurry up, I am gonna shoot you. Wait, no, I I'm sorry. I'll go with you. My name's Leo. Leo Falmont. I'm in my residency at Jefferson Central Hospital's ER. Or I was, I guess. Thanks again. So what's your excuse? What? Why are you still alive? Alive? I... Uh... <sighs> they sprayed this whole damn place with a virus. If you're not a contestant, why didn't you get sick? Why the hell are you still alive? It all happened so fast. The island was cut off before we knew what was going on. Ladies and gentlemen, beloved citizens of Farragon City, lend me your ears. We have cut off all road and rail access to and from Jefferson Island. No one enters, no one leaves. We have also disabled your cellular devices, phones, and all internet connections. All satellite signals from the island will be jammed. You are our captive audience. Justice is an idea the weak cling to to legitimize their drab, peaceful existence. True justice can only be found when lives are at stake, especially one's own. I challenge you to seize the day, redefine justice in your own terms. Let the games begin. To those of you still wondering, this is a game of survival. Might makes right. It is the only law and your only chance if you wish to live through this. To those who do survive, you will not only win the right to live, but a substantial financial reward to the tune of $100 million. To participate in this game, you need only pick up a weapon, a pipe, a bat, a knife, anything will do. Then you need to kill someone. Family members and neighbors are a convenient place to begin. Ah, uh, yes, one more thing. We've dispersed a biological agent, a virus, across Jefferson Island. Everyone infected, which is all of you, will die within 24 hours. If you care to live longer than 24 hours, all you need do is indicate your willingness to participate in our game. Kill anyone, and you will be given a vaccine. Oh, and I suggest you act quickly. The virus incubation period varies by person. Some may suffer adverse effects much sooner than others. Ah, a case in point. Get back! He's hemorrhaging! Game over. So who'd you kill, Doc? A patient? Damn it! I didn't kill anybody! <sighs> I didn't develop symptoms because I took the vaccine they made. And I didn't kill anyone to get it. I stole it from someone who had. You? The virus got him before he was able to take it. <laughs> your lucky day, isn't it? I've got an ID on your friend. Born in 1993 in Ausrain Harmonia. Went to public high school, majored in medicine at Berrigan State. Top of his class. The rest of his story checks out. So, <laughs> guess we trust the doc. If you're not a contestant, who are you? 
you with some kind of rescue squad? There's gonna be a rescue, right? Uh, why haven't they sent anyone yet? Because <laughs> everyone's too busy running around with their heads up their asses to do anything. Sorry, but the cavalry ain't coming. The island's cut off completely. Spy satellites are jammed. All they know on the outside is that a terrorist group's taken over. Terrorists with lots of firepower and the balls to use it. So we're hostages. Targets more like it. If I were you, I'd go find myself a good hole to hide in. What? You're not gonna get me out of here? Sorry, kid. I've got things to take care of. I don't help people. I kill them. Hello, Jack. Jack Kamen. Registered chaser with the Guild under the Bureau's High Crimes Division. Graduated from Stanfield, joined the Marines. His squad saw some action, a few top secret missions. The Lyseria Embassy hostage crisis in 92, the Albeda Airport takeover in 97. Earned himself three silver stars. Regular hero. And good at making corpses, as we've seen. It all begins to make sense. Later says he left the Marines and joined the Varigan City PD as a detective in the Homicide Division. Oh, this is interesting. You remember the kidnapping of the Minister of Transportation's daughter? Yes, Palgastini, wasn't it? I seem to recall they paid the ransom and found the girl murdered. It seems that Jack was in charge of the case at first, but got removed after a falling out with the department heads over strategy. According to the PD, Jack went rogue after that. They claimed his actions pushed the kidnappers into killing their hostage. He gets reprimanded, they even take him to court. He's found not guilty, but he still quits the department. After which the chasers snatch him up. So who's he chasing? And what does it have to do with our games? I'll have to crack the Bureau servers. Give me a moment. Look for something high stakes. Something put up by a celebrity. Something that would interest a man like Jack. There's over 30 bounties posted here. Which could it be? There. Naomi Ann Boris, the mayor's daughter. She's on the island. So, he's after the mayor's only child, huh? The castle was moved brick by brick to Jefferson Island from eastern Zambikistan over a century ago. Unfortunately, along with the bricks came that country's most important export, zombies! These shambling bastards inhabit every crevice in this crap castle and are harder to kill than a closet full of cockroaches. Yeah, that cock-sucking castle's inhabited by all kinds of unnatural fucking monsters. Jack better be on top of his game here, or he's gonna get killed nasty-like. Shake, you could feel them bash you Bones start to break and your heart starts to crash Will it be your last breath? Will it be your last move? Will it be your last step? Step, don't step too close Or else it's gonna make a mess when your chest explodes Yeah, throw the full moon, make you go Normally, jamming is pretty effective Yeah,
that. Better avoid this Grim Reaper wannabe or he'll be shorter by a head. He's a pain in the neck, all right. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. This turd will cut your head off if you're not careful. Believe you me, that fucking hurts. He'll give you head that'll leave you weak in the knees. And not in a good way. <laughs> Was right on the 
sweet the spot. Water. Sad asshole head went blind, didn't think it was so sweet. Now you terrified. You're a fucking joke. Bones ache and the bones start to grab you. You can feel them shake, you can feel them bash you. Bones start to break and your heart starts to crash. Will it be your last breath? Will it be your last move? Will it be your last step? Step, don't step too close or else it's gonna make a mess. Your chest explodes. Bishop of Blood and Carnage to carry for your ass, punk ass bitch. Now y'all want to get your game on? All you got to do is take this here Bloodbath Challenge Club and tee off on some motherfucker's fat ass dog. We place target rings all over the place, and if you succeed in giving any one of them head, so to speak, you gonna be doing fine. So put on your knee highs, bitch, and put your motherfucking stuff. Nah, oh, hey baby. Now look here, you're going for the wrong club now. Ooh, but you always did have a sweet stroke. Oh, no, 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 no! Ah! Ah, no! So, you just go guys to the ground and smack the faces with a black uh -huh. Sounds like any fun to have with my s &M group. It's a movie reference. Look it up, idiot! Noonan. For what? For fuck's sake, you It's what you say when you tee off! That's a great shot. Jack really does have to swing that iron! Two minutes! The amount of time it took you 
wife to fuck the bridesmaids after your wedding. Nick, that's what I'm yeah, man, you should. I just gotta work on that snap look of his. What's the problem? Snap that guy's head off pretty good. Long ride, straight towards the green. Green? Oh, a lot of fucking red. That's got quite a slice there. Yeah, slice that fucker's head straight off. Oh, 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 oh,
Here come the shamans. The bleeding hearts out there whine that fur is murder, and in this case, they're absolutely fucking lutely right. This pack of Meiji motherfuckers chewed my ass off in the old four games, and to this day, I still shit a little crooked. When you hear them howl, get ready for a rabid mauling from the whole savage pack. I don't know you shot crooked. Little bit, little bit. I smell fresh meat. Oh, <laughs> 
right off you. And you know this because... Oh, Jesus, Howard, you just want to see my boss, don't you? Maybe. Can't read you bastard. I know. I just like rubbing your nose in it. So, the target's in this castle, huh? Complete with facilities for getting medieval, no less. I can't decide whether that's really cool or really perverse. Maybe both. Mayor Boris is quite the real estate mogul. He had that castle brought over from Austria and renovated it to be a hotel. It was supposed to be open this Christmas. They were holding a private opening ceremony for A-listers the day the Death Watchers hit. The paparazzi were literally foaming at the mouth outside. But the mayor wasn't there? Oh, the hotel was his daughter Naomi's baby. She was the one throwing the party. She's still alive. I'm tapping into the same circuit the Death Watchers are using to run their game. Everyone but the rich and famous seem to be forced into playing, but I'm not sure why. Maybe they struck some kind of deal with game control? You think? Wouldn't there have been some communication with the mayor? Probably. I guess we'll know for sure when I get her. Hello, pimps, players, and pain purveyors. How's everybody doing out there? I don't give a fuck. Sorry to interrupt the mayhem, but there's a very special person I'd like to introduce to you all. That's right, motherfuckers. It's your motherfucker Jack Kamen in this bitch. This motherfucker is a bounty hunter with the chasers. During the day, he tracks down missing children and dangerous criminals for fun and profit. But when it comes time to chill, Jack just likes to smoke motherfuckers and kill cigars. But for all you motherfuckers that already know him, I guess I don't need to tell you that. Cause you're all dead! Oh shit! <laughs> Hell yeah, Jack is one tough cookie, ex-marine special ops and expert in all forms of kicking that ass. In other words, just what we looking for here at the Death Watch Games. <laughs> but there's only one problem, Jack's not here to play the game. No, this motherfucker's chasing tail. Hey, Naomi, it's you. Naomi Ann Boris. This fine motherfucker, as you all know, is the daughter of Varigan City's Emperor. I, I mean, Mayor Boris. Jack's here at the mayor's request to rescue his daughter. Oh, ain't that shit sweet? You know what the problem with fame is? Jack, look out. Groupies. How much should we put on him? One million. And change the money line for the audience to minus 200 on the contestants, plus 300 on Jack. One million motherfucking dollars to the one who bags Jack. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! A bounty on a bounty hunter? Clever.
meticulously carved cadavers, violent vivisections, and just plain crazy science gone wrong. Science! That's what's hidden behind the blood-spattered walls of the castle's monstrous laboratory. Anyone dumb enough to wander into this basement butcher shop unprepared is likely to wind up with an electrode up his ass and six pig tits grabbed into his back. Seven, huh? Seven pig tits. They sold one on my stomach, too. Dude, awesome. Can I touch it? No, you never thought you would be in this hole. When you ain't got a choice, only one way to go. Go to the heart of it. So get it up and go. It's too around you already.
Like I said, fun! Much people nowadays love to ask for seconds to greedy motherfuckers. So that's why we giving you an extra big helping hand of what you require and desire. Pips, players, and pain purveyors, give it up for the Death Press 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. All this random killing is fine and dandy, Jack. But wouldn't you rather rack up big points fast in a bloodbath challenge? Fine and dandy? What the fuck are you, a Sunday school teacher? A blowing of the me? Hell yeah, there's a sequel, bitch. How y'all tricks doing? It's me, baby. The Black Baron. Stop staring. <laughs> now the rules to this one are easy, with a capital E-Z. When the big hand is out and looking for action, toss a G in there and let it squeeze the pip juice out of him. And when the hand goes away, you never know where it's gonna come back out to play. So stay on your toes, players. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. oh, shit. Shit, nigga, shit. Beat. He's 
really good at it. Look, look. There's something in my hand. There's something in my hand. I'm feeling from behind. Oh, yeah.
soul would heal. I got no for that! How is this relevant? Fight smart and fast. Look at him work. The man's a machine. All for you, Naomi. Your knight's going to need a fire hose to get that blood off his shining armor. I had nothing to do with this. I hadn't even heard about it until now. I'm sure this is one of my father's schemes. Oh, the idiot. 
So, what are you gonna do when he gets here? It's about time. Magnificent. Why, she's going to let him save her, of course. She's the damsel in distress. <laughs> Church, Dr. E. Church is one of the oldest cathedrals in Vatican City. Once a beautiful tourist attraction, it's now been declared a public safety hazard and is scheduled for demolition. In the meantime, the place is a favorite made out by the local teenagers, who are a regular source of protein for the ravenous bats, rats, and various vermin who nest in this crumbling death trap. sucks as much as the next guy, but this blood-hungry bitch can get a hickey that'll put you in the board. Yeah, I fought her in the Eastern Bloc games and lost the match. Four pints of plasma and was declared legally dead for a week. Awesome rack on her, though. Oh, true that. While you're blinded by her headlights, she'll sick a swarm of bastard bats on you to mess up your shit. Plus, the fuckers have fleas. Awesome rack on her, though. True that. Do your best, child!
That attack is nasty. Hundred sort of time. Wasn't that a gang bang movie? Yeah, now that was nasty. <laughs> How do you fight a big bitch slap? <laughs> you get slap, not even <laughs> slap. But this is the first time I've ever seen one get wing slap. Nail chat! 
It wasn't a real chainsaw. It was just a bunch of bats pretending to be a chainsaw. Oh, I'm sure that makes Jack feel a little better. Bats are in the car, but they're in the car. Ah, shut up. You just want to get your dick in her tank. That's not all I want to do to her. Lots harder if he wants to win big. You, Naomi? Your father sent me. I'm guessing you know why. You're Jack, the Chaser. I can't thank you enough for coming to rescue me. Here, your reward. I get it. You people are enjoying this. Crisis. This is all part of your opening ceremony. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Amala, have the mayor taken into custody. Roger. No, no, Jack. My father has nothing to do with this. Guess the house doesn't always win. I'm out of here. What about the girl? You're right. Should have probably killed the bitch, but I got work to do. What? No, I didn't mean... Wait, what work? The house doesn't always win. I'm out of here. You're right. Should have probably killed the bitch, but I got work to do. He's communicating with someone over a transmitter. 
A chaser. Must be one of those fixers. Can't we get any sound? No, it's one of those inner ear jobs. There's no sound to get. We did pick up some fishy signals, but the encryption is military grade. I thought we had the keys to all the chaser encryption schemes. So did I, but not this one. Maybe it's a new code. Strange. That smile. I've seen it somewhere before. There's a flood of audience interest in Jack. How much have we lost? 145 million at present, sir. <laughs> what? The entire audience must have bid on him. Only 30% or so, but there was no point limit. We had some bids over the 100,000 mark. Should we remove Jack from the bidding? We can't do that. He's our star player. Nor can we eliminate him quietly. No. It will have to be done on camera, or the audience will never buy it. I know he's supposed to be good, sir. But what if he's up against something he's never seen before? Continue? Look at this. What exactly am I looking at? We found this during our analysis of the municipal data. As you know, we already did a thorough scan of the military installation on the eastern side of the island. But then we found some interesting discrepancies in the power usage records. Very interesting. Lead Jack there. Will do. Put him at minus 400 with no limit, and be sure to mention we don't know his current whereabouts. Yes, sir. You're right. Should have probably killed the bitch, but I got work to do. Work? What might that be, Jack? Howard and Trees back live with you from Area 66. This giant military industrial warehouse is kept at a balmy 87 degrees. Yep, the things that live here like it hot. If Jack is going to make it out, he's going to have to take advantage of the natural surroundings to do some serious damage. Uh, this place is man-made. There is nothing really natural about it. If you keep interrupting me, I'm going to rip out everything in you that is man-made. Now let's go down to the action.
baby, baby, baby. <laughs> y'all know a minute with the Black Baron is guaranteed to send you right back to heaven. But y'all's got to give the devil his due now. And the best way is to find yourself some alien looking gray motherfuckers and run down as many of they bitch asses as you can. Watch them close though. Cause if they make a move, those little bug eyed freaks is worth mad points, yo. Baby, baby, yo, 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 baby, baby, come on now. The Black Baron's package may be otherworldly, but I'm still human, girl. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Oh, hell no! Last time I saw this course was when I used to play b-ball with the Black Baron. Man, those were the days. You and the Black Baron play basketball? Hell no, basketball's for pussies. It was a game we made up. It was in a bowling ball. What'd you have to do? Well, the rules were simple. We took turns to chuck the ball at each other as hard as we could. Ouch! How did you win? Usually the guy who won first won. Also, the other guy who was a loser didn't know he was playing. Big touchdowns! Road kill! That's the way, Jack. Make that great bobble before you pop him. Yeah, Jack! Open up those sticky crazy and show us the color of the What color is that? I'm not sure. It's not red, though. Fucking aliens!
to face Kojak in this round. I love Kojak. That dude never, and I mean never, gets off his bike. I love it. Why do you love that? Okay, honestly, I could give a fuck that he never gets off his bike. In fact, I think it's stupid, but Kojak paid me to say it. Said he wants someone to promote not getting off his bike as his thing. That's funny, because he paid me to ask why you love him so much. Fucker. I'm gonna fuck you up! You gotta get me by the way. Jack wins. You only have to give me 250. You're on. Wait a minute. Jack tracked hard out there. You sure did. What, no choking joke? Nothing about sex or dicks or anything? You had me in Jack choke. Jack is ramming himself against Kojak. So basically, Jack is ramming himself against himself. We are watching the most violent masturbation ever. <laughs> this, this metal on metal action is kind of hot. If you get a fucking boner, I'm out of here. Spoil! Come on, Kojak, you gonna take that? Sounds like somebody's pulling for Kojak. Hell yeah! Kojak is just evil, Jack. And evil makes everything better. Nothing like watching two grown men Trying to figure that out. I'm sure it's awesome now. Hang on, folks. This 
Ron is about to get right here. Jack is ramming himself against Kojak. So basically, Jack is ramming himself against himself. We are watching the most violent masturbation ever. This is the The sparks are flying! Somebody's pulling for Kojak. Hell yeah! Kojak is just a kid. running around out there at the end. Jack missed a shitload of points. If I were Jack, I wouldn't go around bragging about this one. So he got through. We're getting a large number of claims from the audience, sir. I'm not sure how much longer we can keep Jack's feed black. Work to do... Could he mean chaser work? If so, who is he after? Number three, number six, number seven, number fifteen. Some of our biggest supporters are threatening to pull funding. We're getting more complaints from the mass audience as well, sir. Fine, fine. Open the channels to the installation. Put in a request to the sponsors of our top 10 ranked contestants. See if they'll agree to pitting their men against Jack. Right away. Sponsors. Who's sponsoring Jack? It's number 13, sir. Lord Gesser. Yes, except the contract was voided last night after the skirmish in Asian Town. This says the contract with Jack was presenting issues. Someone is still supporting him. He's a popular player. Anyone in our audience could be supplying him with weapons, contract or not. True enough. And we're sure Lord Gesser backed out. Sponsor contestant agreements are strictly confidential, but all signs point to ties being severed. Then get me Gesser. I need to speak with him. Yes, sir. Information about this area is limited, since anybody who's ever known about this place has either disappeared or been lobotomized. Judging from your comments throughout the course of this event, I'd have to guess the latter in your case, Kreese. Fuck you! But yeah, that would come back like a lot of things. The blurred vision, the metal plate in my head, the mysterious foreign object up my ass. Uh, the last one's mine. Don't bother rinsing it off when you're dead. Gesture. Really? You think so? 
start to stumble like that, you can do any good <laughs> thing you want. Amazing spray pattern on that combo. Josh should get bonus points for artistic merit. You should get bonus points for total bullshit. <laughs>
on him. Could you ride oh, I you suck bum cock on the report? It could, but it wouldn't help you win death watch. Pimp knows it's good to have a hoe, but what you gotta know for sure is two hoes is better than one. Same goes for the money shot, right? So what makes money shot too special? You'll find out soon, pimps and players. Money shot time! You fast forwarded to it already? No, I'm talking about the blood bad challenge. Oh good, I didn't miss it. I'll go get the popcorn and towels. <laughs> And the black motherfucking baron is gonna be the pimp to teach your ass. The rules are simpler than turning out an ugly, broke ass college girl from Kansas. Just pop the cork in some mark and send them flying sky high. Except the bitches you gonna be popping corks in ain't gonna mind cause they alien asses used to be space cadets. You know what I mean? Baby, you want a money shot yourself, don't you? <laughs> People, she don't talk much, but she into some freaky shit. Let me tell you, she could take a pop. Baby, tell him who lays the motherfucking money down. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh, hell no! It's Blood Bad Challenge time again, folks. Jack's going to have his hands full this time around. I don't know about that, Howard. These aliens are pretty stupid. I think Jack will be able to outsmart them. How so? Well, first off, Jack will realize that he's bigger and stronger. Secondly, that's it. There's nothing after that. Jack's pretty much going to beat these guys worse than you beat your meat. Dear God, this is going to be brutal. That's the way, Jack. Make that great problem before you pop him. Remember, kids, aliens and sodas don't mix. But if you have to mix them, make sure you're wearing clothes that you don't really care about. You will get wet. Now that's a soda pop. Soda pop? What are you, my grandma? You know, I hear if you do that to a frog, it does the same thing. Why you gotta be so cruel to animals? That's a sign of a sociopath. Aren't you the one who participated in at one death watch? Yeah, I right. only killed people. That's not as cool. Frog killer. That makes me really want a soda right now. You know, at first I thought that chick looked familiar. Now with all that shit on her, I know who she is. It's your ex-wife. Hold on, let me put this leather mask on. Hey, you're right, it is her. Remember, kids, aliens and sodas don't mix. But if you have to mix them, make sure you're wearing clothes that you don't really care about. You will get wet. You know, I hear if you do that to a frog, it does the same thing. Why you gotta be so cruel to animals? That's a sign of a sociopath. Aren't you the one who participated in and one death watch? Yeah, but I only killed people. That's not as cruel, frog killer. Crazy or harder than the other twin sisters when you got your last roofie. Now that's a soda pop. Soda pop? What are you, my grandma? Thirty seconds. I'm gonna do it. You should. Man, those grades are harder than the other twin sisters when you got your last roofie. Man, Jack is messing that girl up. Is it just me or is that girl getting hotter with each shot that misses the target but still hits her? No, she just looks like somebody covered in alien guts. What do you think they do with those targets after the shot? I wonder if we can take them home. Five seconds! This is it! Do it! 
What'd you expect, fucktard? Did you think I was gonna shoot myself? Yeah, Jack! Open up those stinking grays and show us the color of their inside! What color's that? I'm not sure. It's not red, though. Fucking aliens! I'm 
looks like Jack released the boss switch and is now able to face the big boss. How'd he do that? I guess he got enough points. You guess? Well, I'm not really sure. Ha <laughs> ha! Some announcer you are. Really? What's the name of the show? Um, it's, uh, I know, it starts with a Q. Or is it Kill Something? For the glory of our house! I have sponsor number 13's representative on screen. Hello, Noah. Long time no see. It has been too long, your lordship. So, you were planning on mentioning your continued relationship with Jack. Or perhaps you wanted me to discover your off-the-book support on my own. He lays golden eggs, Noah. What harm in preening him, even if he has flown the coop? Yes, but he continues to win. Isn't there more profit to be had as his sponsor? As you are no doubt aware, Jack is no common contestant. He came to this island with his own agenda. A contract with such a contestant wouldn't be legal. <laughs> yes, his agenda. 
You wouldn't happen to know what that is. He's costing us a great deal of money. Noah, we support your endeavor. In fact, we are so enchanted with your product that we plan on significantly increasing our current investment. But we can hardly be expected to bear even a portion of your loss due to one rogue contestant's actions. No, that is entirely your responsibility. Or perhaps we, or rather, I have overestimated your abilities. The games are not yet over. True enough. I wish your organization best of luck with the remainder. I trust you'll be there to the end. Check his DNA. Though not as... what? His DNA. Check Jack's DNA. Get a sample of his blood and get it to the lab, now. Plenty of that around. Right away, sir. I had hoped you'd have realized who he is by now. Martin, the guy's a giant robot controlled by a remote control by some fat fuck chicken shit too scared to fight for himself. Why do they let him do that? Uh, probably because he's got to try and kill a robot. Makes sense. One destructible target found. I'll go out on a limb and say, robots? Nope, hopes and dreams. The robots they build here will go out and wreak havoc on the world. Whose hopes and dreams are those? Ah, get this, get this, fuck it off! Wife. Yeah, he's a slut of Death Watch. That's not possible. It's a 99.9% .9 match, sir. It's him. There hasn't been a Death Watch game since 2001, which would make Jack the reigning champion. 
There's a record of his death in 2001, the Atwar suicide bombing. His name has changed along with his face, his fingerprints, even the color of his eyes. He really didn't want the Bureau following him. No, he wasn't hiding from them. He was hiding from us. You think he could have forged all those Ministry of Justice records himself? Look, he left the Marines in 2001, right when he was supposed to have died. The Ministry had a hand in this. He works for justice? As much as Jack works for anybody. He's an MOJ spy. He has been all along. The Ministry's Bureau of Public Security were the ones who helped him escape from the Death Watchers. He brought them the dirt on us, and they erased his identity in return. The rescue effort launched by the authorities three days after the occupation and the attempt at driving us out both failed spectacularly. With our identity unknown and a total blackout on information from the island, they couldn't touch us, which is why they sent him, the one man who knows who we are and what we do. So this is the strip, huh? Do I have time for a lap dance? Perv. Kill him. I don't care how. Just kill him. Whatever it takes. No way! We follow the fucking rules. He's the star attraction. However we kill him, we kill him by the book. It's what the audience expects. That's what they pay for. But, Leonardo... Continue the games, Noah. We have quite a loss to make up for. Don't worry, Jack will fight. He will die a horrific, yet profitable death. <sighs> you know where we stand, Noah. Jack may be a dangerous man, but I'd rather fight him myself than have Lord Gesser for an enemy. Bad news, Jack. Is there any other kind these days? Your cover's blown. The Death Watchers have been accessing the profile the Ministry set up. So, we expected this. Luckily, you've been doing well. They wouldn't just snuff out their highest-rated performer. Assholes couldn't if they wanted to. Let's hope you're right. These Death Watchers, according to what you told us, they're just running the games. That's right. They're more front office than anything else. They keep the games going, set the betting rates, and make a shitload of cash. Cash that comes from these sponsors? They're the ones who pull the strings. They supply the capital and make sure the proceeds come back to their pockets. I'm sure they bet along with the rest of the audience, too. Say you complete your mission and take down the Death Watchers. What about these investors, Jack? Think you can reach them? I can reach anyone. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. What's that old saying about a bird in the hand? Yes, but if the goal is to strike evil at its root... Evil? <laughs> I got a news flash for you, sweetheart. We're all evil. All of us. We've taken this planet of ours and fucked it... Okay, Jack. Okay. I get it. Listen, I'm not gonna promise you the answers you want. But here's a little something for you to do in case you're bored. There's all sorts of shit set up for these games. Find out the story behind it. 
I'm already way ahead of you. One thing's for sure, there's no way they built that place after taking over the city. They must have been working on it in secret for months. There's the dispassionate bureau analyst we know and love. I checked into real estate records, building contracts, and all the companies involved. Every one of them was a front. Someone was using dormant properties and paper corporations like a pro. The trail stops cold. Course it does. It's supposed to. Look, check again. This wasn't planned by robots. They fucked up somewhere. Find it. But Jack, I- Look, I'd love to chat, but I've got company over for tea. Maybe next time, huh? Come one, come all! Got three of these games under my belt. Why not make it four? Just don't get cocky. Who wants a piece of the champ? If you want to see some fast and dirty action, the Jefferson Island Casino is the place to go. The only thing cheaper than the drinks here is the value placed on human life. The higher you roll, the farther you fall in this glittering fantasy land where dreams are shattered along with the heads that Let's house go. them. Don't forget the great buffets. All you can eat swim. Get you for that motherfucker. Are you a city engineer? Well, I'm not a city. 
city. Well then, shut the fuck up! They don't come up here and tell you how to be a commentator! Guys, 
bombs are all shattered now, so maybe if Jack gave it another try, he'd bounce. You know those pampered Japanese guys that go beer and massages and the way they just as Good lord, look at that fountain! It looks like something getting it up back there! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's a trick-ass 50-year-old dude in the trannies! Hell to the knob, bitches! It's Mad Darts 2! You know what that title means? Blood Bath Challenge! I'm embarrassed to admit that I can't read. Really? Yeah. That's pathetic! I blame our schools! Yeah. Come on now, pimps and players. Y'all know you love the Black Baron's attempted humor there, didn't you? With your stank asses. Swing the bat and teach some motherfucker that when it's time to play, it's time to pay. And of course, when it comes to pimping and pain, the only G's who gets a shot at Man Darts 2 are the real all-star players. No oh, shit, what the? Oh, hell no! Go, go! The last man does. I'm gonna miss this game. Don't be sad, because now you can enjoy man darts in your game. That looks like some young. Didn't he die? Yeah, I fucked him too. Maybe he's a ghost. He's fucked me. Get you to that motherfucker. I whack three dudes like that once. You whacked three dudes. Fuck off. Or what? You whacked off. We got ninjas in the man darts. I don't know. I don't know. I'm stupid ninja. What's that? I tell you, Stan. Maybe the whole stealthy assassination thing. What's the point? The bloody or black? Here, here. That was three for the price of one. I wish hookers were like that. Remind me, I got a coupon. Reporting for duty, sir! Why are you doing that? Well, I never got to serve in the army, you know? That's a little sentimental. Why would you want to serve in the military? Because I would have loved to beat the shit out of a superior officer and then get thrown out. You can still be an officer. But one thing I have is just not the same. Numbers. 
could have done better if you didn't spend so much time playing grab ass out there. What does that mean? I don't know, but my gym teacher used to talk about it all the time. Did he touch you? Not without the money up front. <laughs> Motorcycles are still the safest form of transportation. Wow, really? Fuck no, are you kidding? More people die on those things by accident in one minute than Jack kills on purpose all night long. Remember to wear your helmets, kids. This is gonna be a Pampered Japanese you, cows to get beer and massages, and then they just gently pet them to death so their meat is really stress-free and tender. Yeah, what about them? This guy wasn't one of those. Look at those pussies run! Those are smart pussies! <laughs> chips on the table. The final round is going to be a killer! Jack, I've got some new intel. That was quick. You find something about the facility? No, we're still looking into that. I have another analyst working on it. Okay. Enlighten me. The Bureau caught up with the arms dealer who supplied the Death Watchers. Apparently, he's quite the superstar in some circles. And I'm sure he isn't talking or cutting any deals. Because someone in the government above the Ministry of Justice stepped in and dragged him off before you could so much as offer him a cup of tea. Yes, that's... How did you know? Say hello to one of your roots of evil, Amala. Paid for by our very own tax dollars. What? Are you suggesting that our government is involved in this blood sport? Sorry, I was being too subtle. <laughs> I tend to do that sometimes. Look, the president may not know anything as usual, but someone near the top sure as hell does. Maybe they didn't mastermind it, but they're involved. And they're after the same thing the rest of the audience is. Money. Jack. Please, don't whine about the government betraying us. The government's just people, Amala. And people don't all share our Founding Fathers' values. Some, like you, protect us. But some just want to mug us in an alley. That's all it ever was. Then why leave the games, Jack? If we're all so corrupt up here. No reason. Guess I just got tired of myself. Tired of killing. Sorry. That's okay. You probably don't talk to lowlifes like me much, I'm guessing. You know what they say, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Well, some of us never leave the dust. We spend our whole lives in it. So, we done? Because I need to keep moving. The games are up pretty soon, and there's a kill seeker out there in first place who needs to be kicked off the throne. Only way to meet the Death Watchers is to win their game. And I haven't lost one of these yet. Jack, be careful. 
Amala, I have a chainsaw on my arm. I'll be fine. In a pleasure palace where dreams are made and hearts are broken, every elevator has the potential to take you straight to the top. On the other hand, stepping through those doors might send you tumbling to hell. You roll the dice, you yeah. take your chance. Yeah. In Death Watch, yeah. the house the always wins Ooh. and the losers the always win. Yeah. Yeah.
but she's probably Two. some heifer. No. Two times. You all right? <laughs> yeah, fine, fine. Ticker's still ticking. <laughs> Ixnay on the shouting, please. Jack, so good to hear you're doing well. Ah, Agent 13. How'd he get on this channel? Oh, we roots of evil love to spread our tendrils and mingle where we're not welcome. So, to what do we owe this intrusion? Selling raffle tickets? Jack, as a past participant in the games, what do you think of this round? What do I think? You know better than any of us what the Death Watchers want, what they value. Tell me what you feel, Jack, in your bones. It's the blood and circuses all over again, that's all. Gladiators against gladiators, and a crowd eager to see guts spill on the sand. You think there's more to it than that? Because <laughs> there isn't. I had hoped we were past the lies, Jack. Surely you understand that a Death Watch game without purpose is nothing more than mindless self-indulgence. There's a purpose to all this killing? As I've said before, these games are always held when conflict must be settled with blood. Yet now, even though there is no pressing need, the people's demand for the games is higher than it's ever been. They thirst. You know, 13, I like this whole purpose thing of yours. It's very zen. It's just kind of hard to believe a word you say when you're making money hand over fist here. Money is trivial, Jack. I wanted to see things die. Not just people, bigger things. Ideas, nations, cultures, gods. Like all the games before. I wanted to see the losers pay with more than just their lives. I wanted to see the winner win more than just money. I wanted to see them win the future, win the promise of power. But these games, they don't deserve the title of Death Watch. This is just watching the world burn. That's why no games have been held since 2001? Quite right, Miss Amala. So you're telling me that the organizers of the current games duped you into thinking they had some grand vision? but that you only found out it was all bullshit entertainment after you cashed your check? If this is all entertainment, then why are you here, Jack? To burn this game to the ground. But Jack, hadn't you heard? The world has already gone mad. There is nothing left to burn. But I digress. Allow me to take my leave. Oh, and Miss Amala, look to Springvale for answers about the Death Watch facility. Springvale? You mean the Springvale conglomerate? My name's Leo. Leo Falmont. I'm in my residency at Jefferson Central Hospital's ER. Or I was, I guess. Thanks again. So what's your excuse? What? Why are you still alive? Alive? I... Springvale. Don't they have a lot of pull in pharmaceuticals? Something about industry consolidation. So long, Jack. Best of luck. A mad world, huh? 
I'll fit right in. Building contracts and real estate records for the facility, turns out that the signing lawyers were all from the same office, run by none other than Springvale's corporate lawyer. Good enough for me. What's the Bureau have to say? Remember last, last year's presidential elections and those reports of illegal donations made to the Socialist Party? Springvale's stock was hit hard, really hard, and the Bureau thinks they started up the games to recoup losses. Of course not, which is why you have to get into game control and apprehend the men running this. The Bureau's camera. You think the Ministry of Justice is gonna get their hands dirty rooting your garden for you? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Never mind. No time for chit-chat now anyway. was created to allow the two toughest fuckers left in the game to beat each other senseless. So get ready for a savage battle between two amazing opponents with lots of broken bones, bloody knees, and maybe even a surprise or two from outside the ring. Surprise? Really? What is it? That would be telling. That's why I'm asking. Oh, 
And now it looks like the Baron's bitch is gonna get some payback. Who's the bitch now, Baron? Ooh, and the bat connects with a brain scrambling hit to the head. I guess it's goodbye for Matilda. I hate to see her go, but I love to watch her leave. Yeah, some real sweet cheeks on the gal, and she was damn handy with that bat, too. Speaking of which. Jack's got the bat in his hand and murder in his eye. And the bloodlust is building in the bleachers. Now the trappers are bringing in the man guards. Boy, and we all know what that means. A big fucking finish. Yes, but I think Jack's got a little unfinished business first. The Baron doesn't even know what planet he's on. Pretty soon it won't matter. That's right, Baron. What's good for the bitch is good for the bastard. I wonder how he likes being on the receiving end of a piss slap. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Time for that big fucking finish we're talking about. Absolutely. This is what we've all been waiting to see. Jack winds up. The crowd is going crazy. He swings. And the next. The center of the dartboard. And the Baron is history. Howard, this crowd has gone absolutely ape shit. And who can blame them? These fireworks are a fitting end to an explosive evening of murder and mayhem. Outstanding performance from Jack. What do you think's next for him, Grease? I don't know, a beer, some beaver, and a big fat steak. Speaking of beaver, it's time for us to split. This is Howard Buckshot Holmes. And Chris Creeley. Saying thanks to all the players, the viewers, and of course, our sponsors. And we'll see you in hell. Congratulations, Jack. Champion once again. At our considerable expense. Sucks to be you. Maybe you weren't meant to be in the bookie business. You could try something else. Polo, maybe. It's a thought. So is this. Kill him! Jack? Jack! Are you okay? Jack? What's going on? Looks like I'm the one in need of a rescue. Jack! I'm glad I made it in time. I saw you go into the tower, so I snuck in after you. You snuck in? I'll give you credit. You ran a pretty good line of bullshit. But in the end, it smelled exactly like crap. You were the one who set all this up. You and your daddy's company. <coughs> it's all about publicity, isn't it, Leo? What better way to get the word out about a killer virus than release it on an entire city? Funny coincidence, your company makes the vaccine. Why, any self-respecting country would pay whatever you asked if the alternative was annihilation. I... 
I don't want my lawyer. I've got... I've got nothing to say to you. Not even one little thing. See, I was wondering, why Death Watch? If getting word out about the virus was the goal, why risk an uncontrolled element like the games? Jack, you're here to arrest me, right? You better hurry or, or I'm gonna die on you. Ah, <laughs> oh, Leo. Poor little Leo. I'm no champion of justice, and I'm certainly not its bitch. What? You mean you're just using the Bureau? <laughs> That's a laugh. <laughs> Come on, clear your throat and answer my question, douchebag. My... my dad wanted the vaccine. That was his. I just... You just... It was fun, Jack. That's all. I can have anything. Drugs. Women. But the game. Jack the game. It was the best, Jack. Ah, so that's why you were there. Just had to be in the thick of it, didn't you? Wanted to feel it on your skin. <coughs> now, help me, or I'm gonna... <coughs> I don't help people. I kill them. I hate this part of town. These billboards are a fucking waste of money. Self-centered credit horse, if you ask me. I didn't. Game designers are the guys who are in charge of this clusterfuck. How can you tell which one is the lead programmer? He's the one not getting laid more than the other programmers. So many nerds, so little time. They say programmers speak the language of computers because nobody else will speak to them. I didn't know you were a programmer. I think my ex-wife slept with all these guys. I remember that night. Hey, that guy was in my How to Draw for Slow Learners class. I didn't have good enough grades to get into that class. I've seen these guys, and they're ugly as sin. Worst models ever. Modelers, not models, you idiots. They're still ugly. The lead animator is the lower intestine of the animation world. Yep, because he's full of shit. Animators are the guys who bring the action to life. I think you mean they're the guys who get no action their whole life. Yeah, what did I say? If he's the lead artist, I'd hate to see the morons he leads. Artists are like a rash. You don't know where they come from, and you don't care. Just as long as they go away. They changed their name to artist when they realized that brain-dead booger eaters wasn't going to fit on their business cards. They only had one guy as the blood effects designer? Oh, he must have been working 24-7. You know, the interface designers are... Interface designers? How the hell do you get that job? I said interface, not in her face. Don't care. I'm already getting my resume ready. You know, this is a disappointment after the amazing soundtrack he did for Anal Butt Sluts number 14. Yeah, I bought the CD for that one. How sad to go from world-class beatbox artist to supervising sound editor. Oh, how the might he have fallen. Sound editing? 
Jesus, everything sounded like a wet fart. Sorry, that was me. Ah, Howard. I don't know if yelling bang every time something happens qualifies as sound programming. I don't think story writer is the right title for this guy. What title would you use? I don't know, something along the lines of mercurial drama queen hat? Works for me. Hey, look at this. The spell checker gets a credit, too. Ken Pontac and Warren Graff. I hate those guys. They're always putting words in my mouth. I think they're on drugs. This guy's storyboards remind me of the work of a famous artist. A classic or modern artist? Now, I was thinking of that gorilla at the zoo who makes pictures with his own shit. This guy's not that good. He won this job because of the work he did from the back of a matchbook. We could file lead cinematic designer under made-up job titles and just move on. They have to start calling the intern cinematic animators after the intern riots back in July. Jesus, these guys couldn't frame Howard for sex crime. Wow, they must really suck. I know. After everything I've seen, I think the designers should be fired. All part of their grand design. Which one was the producer? Uh, he showed up that one time with pizza for everybody and asked if everything was okay, and then he left. I thought that was the pizza delivery guy. Well, he's both. The director's a lot like my dad. He gets drunk, he yells a lot, he passes out in a pool of his own drool. He's harmless, and people usually just ignore his ramblings. <laughs> 